welcome once again to another interesting episode of Inside Out. And today I have a topic, I mean, for me, it's exciting to even do this. Um, this present generation, um, because I also have kids who belong in this generation, I know that there is a craze for designers. And today we're going to be addressing that issue. And what I've decided to title this is knockoffs. What, first of all, what is the craze for designer wares? Do we as Nigerians really buy designer wares or are they knockoffs? And how many young people, how many people can really afford in, in, in the present state of Nigeria as it is to buy designer wares? Do people really know the difference between the designers and the knockoffs? There are so many unanswered questions and we're going to try and address all of that. First of all, what's the big deal? about designer ways. And I think I have on a panel people who are going to do justice to this topic. I am curious. Um, I don't know what the craze is, but I'd like to understand it. Maybe today they would enlighten me. Because is somebody who sold the cloth? Is somebody who sold the bag? Is somebody who made the shoe? It didn't fall from heaven. So what's the big deal? Is there something it does when you're wearing a name? I mean, and if you see my panelists, you know that they have something to do with fashion. You know now. You can tell. Okay, I'm going to start my introductions from the gentleman who is in. I said I didn't know a man could wear red, 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 red and still look good. It's Valentine's Day, I mean. <laughs> um, Mr. John Angel is the MD of Angelic Touch and he is a stylist. You're welcome. Um, and Yola Lawal, you're welcome to Insider. Thank you very much. Please help me welcome Akinrele Sonny. Yeah? Sonny, Sonny. Yes. He's also into design. And by the way, you look very good. I said you look very good. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Then last, I'd like to welcome Ella Ida Sunday. Sunday is the surname or Sunday is the first name? Yeah. Sunday is the first name. Why is a name important in clothing? Yes, in situations where everybody around you is wearing maybe um, Chanel or maybe Gucci or something or Prada. And everyone's in, oh, let's get this pick it. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? And then it gets a situation where you don't know what to say. Why can't you just say clothes? <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's what. It is embarrassing. It is embarrassing to say clothes. Wow. Okay. I, like I said, I just want to get an overview. Let me talk to you, um, Enola. Why is it important? It depends on who you are, really. Okay. It depends on, on who you are, consists of what you do. For example, as a presenter, you are on the red carpet and you're asking people, what are you wearing? And you don't even know what you're wearing yourself. What's the meaning of what are you wearing? What designer? Now, I think the red carpet is like um, an avenue for glitz and glamour. So glitz and glamour consists of how you look and what you're wearing, what design you're wearing. So if I'm going to ask you, what are you wearing? What design are you wearing? And I don't even know my own design. And my own designer doesn't even have a name. It's quite condescending. I think I can relate to what he's saying. It's condescending. Yes, quite condescending. <laughs> and also the fact that personally I feel comfortable wearing a new designer because I know I have confidence in what I'm wearing. I know even if I'm wearing a six inches heel, I don't have to worry about my leg is going to hurt me for a long time because it comes to comfort. It's expensive. You know what you're paying for. You're paying for quality, you're paying for comfort, and you're paying for like those are Why do you assume that? Because it has a name. Um, yes, it does have it. The reason why it has a name, it has a name because of something. It has attained that point. Now, for you, for you putting to have a name, it means, okay, they are consistent. Now, most designers spend for the high class. Most times you find them as luxury. And when you're going to spend for the high class, you have to, you have to entail some things like comfort. It's very important. We want to wear high heels. We want to wear high heels, but we don't want to suffer. I don't want to buy a shoe of 50,000 naira and wear it for 20 minutes and I'm crying. I don't want to wear a wristwatch of 40,000 naira and the following day it's peeling off. So if I'm going to buy, I know that, okay, Lubusin has, um, they have a reputation to protect. 
Um, and if I'm going to pay for it, I know I have confidence. If anything happens to it, I can sue. I can write. So they have something they want to protect. So I know when I'm going for it, I'm safe. Okay. Do you always look out for names? It depends on what I'm buying precisely. As I said earlier, this jumpsuit is, is from my tailor. I made, I gave her um, a sketch and I asked her to make it for me. Now, this is something I can rock on the red carpet. But when it comes to shoes, I know my shoes are important because of comfort. Wristwatch is quite important, you know. There are some basic things. Your handbag is quite important. So I would look out for names when it comes to handbag, shoes, wristwatches. But dress, I don't mind. It, so far, it looks good. And it's not a knockoff. I, don't, I wouldn't go for knockoff any day later. OK, what is a knockoff? Um, an imitation of, you know, something real, something expensive, a replica. That is, you know, total fake. Let me just put it as fake. From <laughs> I'm struggling really hard not to say all the one million things that are going on in my head. Let me get an overview. Let me talk to you, um, John. Yeah. This is, first of all, this, you, you do this for a living. You style people. Yeah. What does that entail? Um, it entails creativity. It entails being versatile. It entails trend. And it entails... Um, comfort as well. Names used to be very important way back. Trust me, now a lot of Nigerians don't, are not particular about names anymore because there are a lot of creative people out there, a lot of designers, now like when it, comes to clothes. when it comes to clothes and even shoes as well. I know and even of, shoes. Yeah, I know a lot of people who make good shoes that you wear and you can even compare them to the big label brands that we know, like the Gucci and all that. And sometimes our products are even more better than these big names you see out there. If a person tells you to style them, what do you do? OK, first is I know I have to know um, the events or the function you're going for. I know the kind of events. I look at your stature, um, things that fits you, things that won't work for you because um, before you style someone, you need to know the personality of that person. You need to know where that person is going to, going to and you need to know what suits that person. Therefore, you can now decide to combine or put together whatever outfit you think would work for the person. Do you buy these things? I buy them, yes. Do they return them to you after they have done, or do they pay for what you have bought? Okay, it depends on your negotiation before you guys started. Yes. Like, um, I have an office which is about um, a four rooms, like a four bedroom, a four bedroom, and all of these rooms are filled up with clothes as a size. I have two So you, do you, so you, do you go to buy designer stuff? I buy, I make. I pull, meaning of pulling is getting from designers. It, it might be, you might want to start someone and you have something in mind like a particular um, pattern of pants and you know that, oh, this designer, because some designers are specialized in some kind of clothes and you know that, oh, this person makes this thing. Like I know the designer he's wearing, T.I. Nathan is very good. I know, okay, T.I. makes this kind of things, and I need to dress this person with a trench coat. Oh, T.I. Nathan makes trench coats. So I need to go there, pull the trench coat from T.I., then um, get shoes from, get a shoe that I know it's going to suit it. It doesn't have to be the same label. Yeah. I can use different you things mix just to make sure. different designers. Yes, just to make sure I achieve the picture I have in mind. OK. Let me ask you, um, John, it wasn't that well. what, when, it, when it is a real designer, what do you expect? When it's real, you expect durability, you expect warranty, you expect comfort. Sure. And then um, sometimes it has to do with the products or it has to do with what you're getting in particular. If you're getting shoes or wristwatch, 
We've not gotten to that level here in Nigeria when you see someone making research only the knock of which is the imitation. Yeah. Oh, yes. And let me talk to you because women are yeah. We're the ones who do the shoes, the bags, the Chanel's, the how what what do you expect when you buy a designer, your Louboutin shoes? First of all, there's a red um, so, so immediately yes. we know that it is somebody. Yes. But we also know that it's not all of them that are red that are somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even some are painted. <laughs> and some are wine. Some you red. could spray them. Yes. So how, 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 because honestly, I don't know the difference. How do you know that this is your own? Is that person? Yeah, it takes, uh, most times it takes an expert to know because the rate at which they make imitation. Those guys are strong. I just wonder why they can't just go out for their own brand. Because they are really going to be successful. The great academic limitations. But it takes um, somebody who is used to buying, who is used to the original, to know that okay, there's, a, there's always a very slight difference. For example, say in Louboutin, there's always like a stamp. Now, when you find the imitation, it's not stamp, it's drawn. So yours has a stamp now? Yes, there's a stamp underneath. So, Am I allowed to ask how much those shoes are? No, ma. No. I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> <laughs> but really, it takes, if you wear, when you buy um, original, when you see original, and when you're used to the original, you can easily tell the difference between the original and the imitation. And the fact that um, the way it looks and durability to matters and comfort. If you put your, I keep saying, I keep talking about comfort when it comes to the putting because it's always comfortable. When you put your leg, it won't, it won't feel hard. It's, it's like there's a foam inside. You just tap into it and you're comfortable and you're good to go. You can walk for hours. Do you wear shoes that are not designers? Yes, I do have shoes that are not designers. And I can always, I, and that is why I know that, oh my God, there's a difference. Do you wear knockoffs? I don't wear knockoffs. So it's either it's name or it's not a it name. It is not a name. Okay. <laughs> a designer that is a name. Yes, ma'am. What do you expect to get? First of all, where did you buy these buttons? In Nigeria? No, I, it was ordered. I have um, a personal shopper. Okay. Who, yes, I have a personal shopper, and I know that he orders them directly from the store, from the Louboutin store. If it is Emmy, it's from the Emmy store. If it is Louboutin, it's from the Louboutin store. So it's, they're always from the store, and it comes, uh, um, the way it's packaged, yes, um, it has some labels, it has details. For example, a wristwatch comes in the pack where you have um, some, label. at times you, you find some, manual. Small, yes, manual, you get manuals when it comes to wristwatches. So you know that, okay, this is genuine, this is real. So that is our When it idea. comes to bags? Bags, um, yeah, the way it's packed, um, it has, man, not manual necessarily manual, but there's always like a small leaflet in it. But the fact that it's from the store, you know you're ordering from the store, you know um, where you're getting it from really matters to me. If you're talking about it's Yaba possible. market, it's like possible. Yaba market, the right hand side of the market. Mm -hmm. Might not get, I don't, I know. They said there's first grade original. Yes, very possible. They are fairly used. So back then when people were not crazy about designers, it came regularly when you go to somebody like a next door neighbor who sells fairly used. You get to find Gucci, you get to find Hermes and other stuff. But now, when people know that everybody is crazy about design. Let me ask this question again. Is it possible to get Hermes fairly used and Louis Vuitton fairly used? Yes. Yaba, I do not know of. <laughs> It's but it's possible to get it in Nigeria. It's just, it's just. Let me, let me say something to that. Yeah. It's just like the way we get our Tokumbo cars. It's been used outside a country, and when it comes into Nigeria, it's called Tokumbo. That's the same way. Cloth, shoes has been used there. When it comes there, it's first grade. Now I know there's first grade and there's second grade, there's third grade. Yes. Third grade, you see someone in Nigeria has worn it and they will still sell it. That's third grade. Yes. No. But it's still designer. It might still be so designer. Might. And when you see there are a lot of designers, yeah, like you said, you can get it not necessarily in Yaba. But exactly. I think the market where you get stores that have been used before and brought into Nigeria and still very original, still very okay is Yaba. Okay. Like this, I um, so, okay. Can I like? Yes, I like it. Oh, like, 
Yes, you can actually because I have a yard sale like I'm going for tomorrow with some fashion Nigerian fashion bloggers. So like as a as a fashion blogger on alongside, I can decide okay, I have this um Gucci um shoe or something that I don't want to wear. I don't wear it again. That's like a garage sale. Exactly, thing. yes, that kind of thing. So it's possible for you to get, you buying it from me, of course I bought the original. Okay, maybe I bought the original. And you buying it from me, of course you're buying the original from me. So yes, it's possible for you to get the original in Nigeria. Not necessarily Yaba, but from anywhere. Yeah. Okay, we need to take a quick break because I, I want to <laughs> conduct an experiment here now. Uh, okay. But I want to go on a quick break and we'll be right back. All right. What would you call this? LV. Hmm? LV, Louis Vuitton. Is this real? Can I see? Yeah, we need a closer look. We need a closer look. No, from far. Before we <laughs> take a closer far. look. From, from far, where you are. It looks nice. It has the same color of the original. Yeah, it has so the same. It has Simple. everything together. But when you check inside, you check the texture. No, I want to know from far, then I'll bring from it. From far, it looks real. It looks real from far. That's from far, the word it looks I'll real. Use, yeah. You can't tell if it's real or not. It looks real <laughs> so, from far. So, except yeah. I open it yeah. and yes. let you look inside. And see what the, the, the weight. The you see? Okay, now I want to give it to you. Thank you. Is that real? This is not real. No. This is not real. This thread, no. This is not real. This is not real. Detailing, 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 making, sewing. The color, the gold color is peeling off. The sewing is tacky. And um, the leather is very hard. Tell me, I'd like to get your opinion. Is this real? Can I take this? Um, this is a rich. <laughs> yes, a I have a fancy. Well, yeah. I'm right here. I'm the only lady here, so I'm the one entitled okay. to you. Thank you. This is real. That is real. How yes. do you know that is real? The color inside it's red. is usually red. That red. is like wine. Could you show us the color inside? Show us the color inside that one. This is red. And I felt it. I saw the sewing is detailed, yeah, very and um, the leather, the is leather, and there's uh, what's it called? Um, the is it is it called engraving? That you have yeah. to yes, you can yeah. see it. Any? Oh yeah, look at oh, it. Oh, it's not here. Yeah, the leather is sorry, real leather. Then I know that original routine has red in it, okay. not brown or maroon or whatever that is. <laughs> then Paris. This yeah. is real. This is not original. <laughs> <laughs> this is rubber. You said original Louis Vuitton has no center has red in it. Is this real? Oh, what is this? Is that real? This is real. This is real. That is real. Yes. yes. How do you know? The leather. And then. Um, Sometimes Louis and Vuitton, they have cases. two shades. Yeah. They have two shades. This yes. is another shade of a Louis Vuitton, yes. and that's another shade of a Louis Vuitton. So this is the real one of this one, of this shade of Louis Vuitton, and the detailing of the making is there. Yeah, this and I'm real. always precise about the leather too. Yeah. The leather is thick. It's real, real leather, not cloth. So you people make it your business to know the real and the fake. Yes, ma'am. It's important, especially it's when important. you have to spend your money on it. Okay, now let me let me let me let me put this um, in saying this because, like I said, part of what we want to do is help people um, also realize each one of those bags. One that one, from what I heard, that one is about two thousand pounds. Okay. The one lower is about 1,830 pounds. <laughs> now, these two bags are directly from a Louis Vuitton store. I, I have these two bags, which together is about close to 5,000 pounds. 
How would he get to the Yaba market? Money, hmm? okay. If I wanted to sell, wouldn't I put it on eBay or what's that place? Yes. Online shopping. Yeah. Yeah. Or like you said, do a personal garage sale. Yeah, sure. When you said to me it is possible to get a first grade, Hermes does the same thing and saying their bags yeah. are not cheap. Mm. How can you ever buy something for two thousand pounds plus? Mm. Even one thousand pounds, mm -hmm. even one thousand mm. dollars, and I know Hermes. There's no bag of Hermes that is one thousand mm dollars. -hmm. How do you do that? And it will end up in the Yaba market. Most of the things we buy fairly used are not from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They are usually from maybe UK or America, mostly from America, I guess. And the fact that those people, it's fine, they buy it expensive, but when they are ready to get another one. They don't have a problem letting it go at any amount because they think I'm not. I, they are not supposed. They don't think they want to make money from Let, it. I, I, I am. I am not sure that I'm going to agree with you on that. And I would also like us to bear in mind that when we say fairly used, though it looks fairly used to us, but at times it might have been used five times by five different people over there right. before it comes here to Nigeria. So you find out that the ones you see that you say they are first grade fairly used. It's even out of trend because probably it trended 10 years ago. So if somebody, if somebody used it for two years, gave it out or sold it to another person, they used it for two years and eventually it's all 10 years altogether. It gets to Nigeria and it's no longer in trend. So they eventually sell it at a giveaway price. Has it ever occurred to you that, I'm, I'm asking, I'm using common sense here for a lot of the things we buy, that when the high end, designers, the Prada, mm -hmm. the Louis, the whatever, that they are, let me use the word, their styles don't go out of style. They do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. That Louis Vuitton bag, the original, the one mm -hmm. with the squares, that was in fashion like 10 years ago, but people still carry it. Yeah. That was when it came out. They might have newer ones, but that will never go out of style because that Louis Vuitton, for instance, doesn't do sales. Mm, no. They don't do sales. Mm -hmm. So the whole shop, Hermes, everybody can be doing sales. They pride themselves on their pricing and the fact that it's a keepsake. Let me, something you inherit or you, you give to your own children and say, this is a bag to keep. So how do you get that? Because a lot of the time, you see a lot of Nigerians carrying this thing and like he did. They buy a timberland for 20,000 and because it's with Vuitton, they tell you pay 100,000 for something that in the shop is 1 million. Mm. Because you are paying 100,000, you feel it's high, yeah. Vuitton yes. is 100,000. It, it must be. <laughs> it should be original. Should. Now that even those people are here, but they know that everybody's crazy about designer, what they do is most times you are lucky to find one new Vuitton out of 100 bags. So they keep it aside. And when you come, they always have their customers that come to look for designers. They go to them to look for what designer do you have in store. And they send it to them like 15,000 naira because it is... For that time. one. Yes, and it is fairly used. Yeah. For that one. So you don't get to see 10 if you turn out of your 200 True. stock. It is just like one. And that one might come like once in six Have you ever months. bought something and then they told you it's a designer and you find out it's fake? Um, no. Have you? Yes. At no. some point, a wristwatch. A wristwatch. <laughs> yes, a replica Rolex wristwatch. Oh, nice. Would you would you buy a high street <laughs> shop brand that didn't have a name? Yes. Would you buy, for instance, I'm looking for H and M. Yeah, atmosphere. Atmosphere. Oh yeah. That's it. That's like. Of course. Would you buy? Yes. Of course. You would. Yes. So why wouldn't you come and here? Why wouldn't you buy something that? doesn't have any name. Yeah. Here? Yes. In Nigeria? Yes. I have a lot of shoes that don't have a name. And once I step out with those shoes, you would, because sometimes you see label, or you see labels of shoes are inside. Yeah. I need to pull my shoes before you know the <laughs> label yeah. sometimes. Sure. Before you know the maker of the shoes. But once I step out in those shoes, depending on what I used in combining, put together to wear those things. They look very expensive. What's I, the reason? I want to let people know that once you see people on screen that does a lot of things or 
throws money out in videos or you see them with flashy cars. Some of those things are make believe. They are storyline that need to be told to be inter to be interpreted well. It doesn't mean like that's the way those people be Lead. outside the screen. True. So there are a lot of things you should not imitate. Or you see an artist in a video and he has a lot of flashy cars, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, and cars. spray money. <laughs> and the next day on the street, you see this guy strolling, wearing slippers. And you look at this guy, you're expecting money from that thing. It's a storyline. You don't need to... Okay, if you want to imitate such person, and you think, oh, this person has money, or you see the person tomorrow, you're expecting money from that person, and the person does not give you, and he starts raining, ah, you don't even have swag. <laughs> oh, dear, little. Because I've seen such, I've witnessed such. A lot of things you don't need. Some of these things are fake. They are republished. Like, there are lots of fake dollars. It's no way. If you see a whiskey <laughs> throwing, some of them are fake. And you Great think, oh, he has so actually. much money. You see him tomorrow and you expect him to give you money. Or you see him wearing a particular shoe. Some of those shoes are not even theirs. But, they but I mean, whiskey is a musician. Yes. Whiskey is big. I am not, I'm a student. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whiskey earns money. Okay. Every time he goes to see. Okay. Why do I want to steal dollars when I'm I'm not doing what the kind of profession with even if I was set and my records might not be selling the way whiskey is selling. So, okay. So what is the reason behind the craze to wear names at all costs? Because that must be the reason why knockoffs sell. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. True, yeah. true. Yeah, wait, let me let me talk to you. Yeah. I don't know, for instance, you went to use your, at the time you paid 20,000, oh, it was money now. I get um, a clue, let's just say Tommy or um, Polo Raff, the one of the smallest grades, you know, of this designer, if I'm not mistaken, I get a shirt for, um, let's say, $100, for instance, and um, somebody comes to my shop and start pricing it one five. <laughs> it doesn't want you to move further. So it's just imitation. Yeah, and that's the reason why this will not cost sell more. You, you, you ask me what am I putting on? I don't know it because I'm wearing a knockoff. You understand? Mm -hmm. I won't say I wear designers when I don't wear it. It's very, very expensive. Imitation makes uh, the same uh, guys republish a lot of things. And they are selling even more than the, the original. <laughs> Yeah, because I was going to ask that how many, how many, how many of it can you own? True. I mean, no matter how expensive and nice this shoe is, you can't wear it today, wear it tomorrow, wear it yeah. day after. People will still <laughs> abuse you, saying only yeah. one shoe. They get. They don't want to know how much yeah, it is. Yeah. Do you understand? So, I mean, does it make sense really for you to have to actually buy designers? That's my question. Does it? Does it? Does it make economic sense? If I buy that bag for 2,000 pounds, if I carry it on Monday, carry it on Tuesday, carry it on Wednesday, carry it on Wednesday. By the end of the month, when they see the bag, they say she don't come. <laughs> they won't even bother to ask who is coming. Nobody will even, at that point, nobody will remember that it's a Louis Vuitton and I'm carrying it every day. They'll say, now you once you see that bag, no say that she don't arrive. Which means even the value of the bag will no longer be appreciated. But if I use that money and I bought, or even look for a local designer to make me every color. Yeah. Now wow, you can wear the marshal. That day. I don't know. I don't, I mean, for me, personally, as a human being, I don't care about names. But if there is a name and I'm going to buy it, it will be real. I won't buy it for that kind of money. Okay. On the other hand, my wristwatch can be one five. As long as it's telling me the time. <laughs> and it's not going to tell me the time all over the world. Only the time where I am. It is still a wristwatch. Your Rolex and my one five will tell me the same time. 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 Your Rolex is not going to tell you Rolex time because once it tells you Rolex time, that's no longer the time. time. So, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering why, whether it makes sense. 
You know, when I asked you a question, both of you, you said it's embarrassing not to know who you are wearing. And I, I, I picked that. Why is it embarrassing not to know who you are wearing? Simply because you are a presenter or because you are a fashion, uh, in the fashion industry. Why does it matter that you know who you are wearing? Why? Because in most situations, right, as a fashion designer, a fashion designer, someone wants to know what I'm wearing and what I'm wearing. Why? Because he wants others that are watching the interview want to wear what Do I'm they wearing. have your money? If they want to know, they sometimes, should go and Google sometimes it. Sometimes they want to purchase from the same Do you think maybe designer? we're becoming very materialistic? Yes. Especially yeah. young people? Yes. yes. A lot. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. So everybody wants to look nice. Everybody wants to look good. Like, from my school, <laughs> I finished from Covenant, right? From? And Covenant University. Okay. So there, there's this thing about Covenant being fashion school. And then there are people... Which Covenant? Covenant That's Covenant Bishop Oedeko. Hotel, yes, yes. Is that not the way they think people should wear Mabzi to school? <laughs> but if you go there... <laughs> if you go there... Are you serious? I went there once and I'm like... You see, you guys, the because I expect, because I've heard so much about this school, so I expect them to... What's me? I was talking about this school, not what he's saying, no. This, yeah, when I, I, I've heard a lot about this school, but I went there once, and when I went there, I'm like, is this the covenant that they said Papa yeah. owns? And when I saw guys, if you see their hair cuts, if you they see the sunshade. way they are sunshades, if you see yes. their shirts, if you see they wear sneakers, so you, you think maybe the competition starts from there? No, no, or what? there's a situation where some people are the, you know, sometimes when people come, maybe first year or second year, they are the fashionable guys, and they do all these award shows and stuff. So the young people come in want to look like those guys. So they want them to be long. Exactly. Yeah. Wanting to look nice, wanting the chicks to follow them. She good, yeah. All this kind of, they want to be on the name, like there's this campus it award thing. They want to be there, they want to be famous, they want, they just want attention, to that kind long. of thing, yes. yes so a lot of young people want attention, that's the, that's the problem. And aside, <laughs> yeah. aside from attention, I think we have, um, a problem of, I call it the wannabe syndrome. You want to feel among. It happens mostly in universities. Now, take a University of Lagos, for example. We have all sort of people that the very rich, the rich, you know, the well-to-do, and the people that are managing. So you see a girl who drives in to the hostel and carries uh, maybe Hermes. And probably she's from a rich home. She can afford it. She doesn't even think about it because probably her mom got it for her. And you, you know mom will buy her a Hermes bag. Yes. Yeah, mom could be shocked. Ma'am, some people can it's afford it. They don't possible. have a problem with yes. it. Yes. No, it's not, it's not, you don't buy things because you can afford it. You buy it because it makes sense at that stage in your life. To not, everybody. That might not everybody. Not everybody. We all have perception problems. What, what are we seeing? We have perception, and that perception mode us. And we have not been taught how to broaden our perception, to see well before we react. So many things we do, like we see somebody wearing this, okay, uh, you start judging. That is in our education, we are taught judgment thinking. So the perceptual problem is there. So we don't see well before we react. So that's just what I mean. Um, just that it's unfortunate that even here in Nigeria, we, we are fake human beings. <laughs> yes, true, yes. I like that. because we are not fake, why do you want to wear somebody? <laughs> if, you are not, if you are real, why, why do you want to go and wear somebody? Yes, you want to wear a designer. I know it's mostly for maybe some special kind of people that can afford it, you know, and... They, maybe the artists, the singer, the, they, the, they really the actresses, and all that. Some of them are even broke because yes, they've used they all their money broke. to buy designers. <laughs> and we that are, we are just managing. <laughs> Your salary is 50,000 naira, and you want to buy designer. You see for the whole year. Your mates are buying lands, are buying, are investing assets. You, 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 you save for the whole year to buy a designer. Does it make any sense? Another problem we have here in Nigeria is this. You know, we don't, we don't, um, we don't believe in ourselves. We don't, we don't, we don't, when this lady was saying, and they, they are like, they were embarrassed. 
And we talk about, let's create something in Nigeria. Let's produce something here in Nigeria. And uh, we don't want to wear what local fashion, manufacturer, uh, fashion designer designer. fashion designer. But he said he's wearing a local I wear Nigerian designer, designer. designer sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> my uh, shoe is Nigerian. Like my tailor. Okay, tailor I think I prefer wearing Nigerian made. Actually, it's all a system, to be honest. It's difficult for the, for the public to notice that. And this is a form of system that's engineered to address different voids. There are several voids, social voids. People want to be accepted and belong. There's cheap void, which is as a person uh, who wants to feel, or you know, maybe someone has drive in fashion or maybe entertainment industry and he wants to imitate, like you said. You know. Then there is there's levels of the economy splits these voids in different forms. What I mean is there's the minority, there's the flamboyant, and then there's the overcomers. In the sense that, I'll clarify quickly, the minority are the people who, most of us, the public, and then the flamboyant are those who are in positions to exercise their identity. Then the overcomers are those who have crossed for example, the Dangotes, the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Bill Gates. If you notice, if you're observant, the, if they should, if the should come here, he's not going to wear any of these designers. Yes, if you're observant, Mark Zuckerberg will wear a simple black shirt, a jean, and that's all. Mm -hmm. He has overcome the money. Our so-called <laughs> flamboyant level, you know, are craving for the the whiskey, whiskey and um, the Davido flipping money. They will never get I that need money. To oppose what he's saying. I'm just saying because it's a system. They controlled it. The this, overcomers control the yes, system. Yes, the overcomers, they control the system. They, this, the, the, the Nigerian economy still controlled. You were asking how the, the fake one got down here. You know, how can somebody buy something very expensive and somehow gets here? There's a void, which is the public. People are addressing that void to monetize that opportunity to imitate that cheap one. So what they do, they get the original one once. If, if some people know this about mobile phones, they get the original one once, and they move to manufacturers, for example, China. China. And then they will, you know, they, will, they will imitate, lower the cost of production. China don't want, they don't want to lose the money, too. So they lower the cost of production to imitate that as close as possible to the lowest you know, cheap production cost, and then move them here for sale. And when they sell it, when they sell it, sell it here, then we will feel that okay, at least we are getting something resembling the you know flamboyant one. Now the flamboyant people they are also smart because they get something the original stuff, and they get it. The good thing is, if we can stick to what is right, original, it will save a lot of issues. But because 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 we don't, many people want quick money. It's like a race, and if you get something original which is good, it's durable, it's more comfortable, and you get the best value. That's how it should be. Unfortunately, they're expensive. So instead of those people who are trying to, you know, to cause this situation, flooding the market, altering the system at the same time, they could get something original. You may not need to imitate this product, but something else, like she said, get another brand, and then you know, imitate that and get that um, solved. <laughs> It always shows when the money is not there. Now, this young lady, many of us, we have copied her. You will see somebody will go and buy from bad A because they want to be from fair where? like her. From bad A, you have to be fair. From bad A, from bad A is a cream. From bad A, cream. It's a cream from bad A. From bad A. Yes, it's what a does cream. Yes, for sport, because they want to be like her. At the end, they will spoil everything. We shouldn't copy people. We should try to be ourselves. Because tomorrow when you get married, it will show on you. <laughs> if the money is not there, it will tell on you. I will just add that this is a marketing strategy. And I'll take my point from Professor Whipshost in 1978. He said the forces of, uh, 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 the sheer weight of advertisement forces people to buy what they would not have otherwise buy. Now, where I'm going is this. If I'm a producer of a particular product, 
and I want to yeah. sell more. I can just invite a celebrity that please, we can wear this. People will buy this product. That's what Standard. it's done. So that's when, done, actually. that's why you see Saka, for instance, MTN invited him to come and do advert. Because they know that if he should do it, they will definitely use more of that thing as at that time. So those who did not know the rudiments, mm -hmm. they will believe that this is how this person is. Meanwhile, it's a marketing word. That's, 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 that's what I will have to say. Like if you look at all these our celebrities now, they take pictures. But we, the young ones, instead of using the money, we go to their picture and edit their um, face or whatever out and put our own there. <laughs> so it's not, it's not, it's not, yes, it's not look as if we're the one we are wearing. That's why I see that Instagram is full. You wanted that, how did this person afford maybe Prada shoe or You remove those. somebody's head and you put your own head. Photoshop. For you? <laughs> Second thing. <laughs> There's something I will not hear of this program. I would just like to say, you don't have to wear a name to look nice. This dress I'm wearing, for instance, I recall the time I wore it to church, and my pastor and the, music, the singer in the choir that sang that day had to call me out from the audience and appreciate what I wore. Mm. And it's just a material I bought in Lagos Island, and I gave my tailor to make a style for me. So you have to know. Who, very good. Yes, yes, I'm not wearing any name. It's just a cloth. Yeah. No, you have, it is your name. Now. It is me. Uh -huh. I'm the one wearing it. It's your personality that counts. Because when your cloth starts to wear you, that's a problem. <laughs> so be sure of who you are. Be confident in who you are. Don't be intimidated. Don't be pressurized. And just buy something. Look nice. That's what that counts. What I actually want to say is concerning the fake, knowing the fake and the original. One, when I was working in a shoe. In Lagos Island, where we used to sell shoes, because my boss have a elder brother that's based in China, they can actually pay Hermes, for instance, to copy a certain amount to copy their trademark and use it to produce yes. their own shoe. And when they bring it in Nigeria, there is no difference. Even this one she's wearing now, we can no, they can't pay Hermes. Hermes will not let them put Hermes their name to pay. No, it's not Hermes actually, but maybe Versace. Hermes. Some of these design, designers. This, there's no designer, but Chinese people do. Yes. yes. Girl, if you, the countries that if they yes. see you wearing carrying fake of there, they will arrest you. Uh, yes. <laughs> so there's no shop, but Chinese people are experts. They will ask you, you want the original or you want the fake, the fake original? One. Yes. So and you know, again, you know, Nigerians, since they know that we like cheap things, because when you actually <laughs> bring, <laughs> sorry, since Nigerians will like cheap things, <laughs> when you actually bring the original ones and tell them at that price, so it will be very expensive for you to sell. And as a business, somebody that you're buying something that we to you stock your money, money. money, just like what he said. And that nobody wants to keep one million naira in the shop. In the shop. So they will end up copying <laughs> and doing it, and it will be as original fake. And when some people that don't really... <laughs> That's a new one. So there's That's original fake. <laughs> and when some of us that are actually copying these celebrities that we don't really know the difference between the original one and, and the, the original one. they end up running to come and buy it and you tell them that it's for like he bought in balance for 20,000 which is not supposed to be and, and he thinks that it's the original because it's expensive to him so we come end up going to buy it at higher rates if you see the difference so of, you, you you people are selling shoes like that that's how we sell we sell it uh, <laughs> we sell the routine ah. <laughs> you sell the routine yes ah, ah, how much, how much Lagos the island Actually, it's supposed to be for 3,000. Yes, no. You put in 3,000? Yes, that one. Jesus. That worked one. Jesus. You said? Are you Excuse me. You are telling me? 3,000. You see the line? 3,000. I am telling you, 3,000 you put in. Let me continue. Yes, and yes. it's going with a pack closed. And it has you the same. You will even get shoe bag too. Yes, it has a And box. The trademark is there. Ah, ah. That there is something. Three thousand. Ah, oh no. <laughs> it's there. It's there. And my boss, we sell it at fifteen thousand, twenty-five, twenty. It depends That's on the person that is thing. buying it. But the cost price to us is three thousand naira. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's in shop. I like the look on your face. Just so that you know. Yes, in Lagos Island. I can even. John, are you sure? Are you saying you didn't know Wait, that? Did you see? 
3,000 naira. The cost price to us is 3,000 naira. But we don't sell it. Straight. You don't want them to know that it's the fake one because we pretend oh, going that yeah, is, yeah, is yeah, of good yeah. quality. And we sell it actually expensive to them and they buy it because they don't really know the difference. But yeah, when you check out... It's your Why they come? That's you tell them that that is originally the top. They come looking uh, for it. Thing. Anything in, in trend, they will just come. Do you have Versace? Do you have Hermes? Do you have this? And if you're bringing any. And you have Hermes, you have Versace, you have Louboutin. I, I will have the face. Yes, I mean. <laughs> Before I say what I want to say, I want to reply her question. She said, Why is there pressure on me? I, I want to say that she's having pressure because she wants to keep the standard high. Remember you said that your son said, don't fall my hand. Everybody is afraid of their friends, of what people will say, don't fall my hand. So they want to maintain the standard. That's why there's so much pressure on people. But if you look at the whole thing, this whole topic is taking different dimension. We keep encouraging people to acquire skills. The government is saying acquire skills. There's no white collar <laughs> job, acquire skills. That's a photo Going to fashion skills. designing, going to tailoring. But there are no people, nobody wants to patronize the one who is trying to acquire the skill. I have friends. See, that, is that true? Is one out, of, one out of how many? So at least three people oh, yeah. here are wearing Nigerian. In fact, it's the person who doesn't mind whether he's uh, first grade or second grade that is wearing English. Right? No, that's no. <laughs> it, well, it may be, but, but what I'm saying is we want to encourage local production. The government is saying let everybody find one thing to do. I have friends my mates who make they make clothes when you when you see the clothes you begin to doubt if they actually are the ones who made those clothes and people are patronizing them everywhere we talk about about made about people they produce shoes and someone was telling me wow these guys are ambitious these guys they try to imitate they try to do things they don't have encouragement if they have encouragement and they have resources at their disposal they will make good shoes they will make good clothes so i think we should stop all this um thing of trying to promote she was saying something um she was saying uh, that so. yeah she was saying something that they they want to copy they want they're trying to copy the the original ones so that yeah, she won't buy something of such i can't remember what she said correctly mm -hmm. but now that's where the problem is coming from if you don't want to if we don't encourage the, the young I ones think. we don't encourage people among us who are trying to produce things then we'll keep like they will we'll keep having this disconnect we'll keep staying where we are but i'm going to take last lines i just wanted to react to that quickly. What we seem to forget in our little world is that most of the celebrities abroad we're copying have gone from promoting other people's brands to promoting their own brand. Yeah. They have clothing lines, perfumes, all sorts. And I, I look forward to a time when, because we have the population, 150 million is not a joke. Lagos State alone, if you sell your product only in, in Lagos, Lagos State States. and you sell to 1 million people from the 18, you will create a millionaire. Yeah. And so my question is, why, and there, if you, I think Agbani Darego does jeans now yes. or something, there are a few of them who are getting that wise. And I'm saying, as a celebrity, why don't you then use that to promote yourself and your own brand and become creative? Because every time you carry a Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton makes more money and he doesn't even know you. You are not acknowledged as a market. market. As, with as many people as use Hermes and Louis Vuitton in this country, we are not acknowledged as a market. There's no Louis Vuitton open outlet here. There's no Hermes outlet here. There's no Gucci outlet here. There's only Mango. Yes. Which is High Street. Yeah. 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 I have a reaction yeah. to that. Yeah. These days, especially on red carpet, when you ask people, celebrities, what are you wearing? You had the, you these days, you hardly hear them say, I'm wearing Gucci. They say, you I'm wearing yeah. Toju Foye. Toju Foye is a Nigerian fashion Most designer. Times, yeah. You hear, I'm wearing Maya Tafo. Who is so, it? So, what, what do they say? They are from the Nigerian brands. They are progressive. Like you're Nigerian so, um, John, we are looking forward to shoes and bags now, Abby. Okay. We don't have people doing shoes and bags. Yes. We actually do have. So, the okay. problem we have is that I know um, um, I know a stylist who says he wants to do his, he wants to start his own shoe brand, and he went on to Italy to make those shoes. And I'm wondering what happened to the very talented and creative cobblers we have here in Nigeria. Why can't you make those shoes from them? Resources but these cobblers will go ahead to make 
lookalikes of Emmys and Zanuti because they want to sell. Because and Eve people buy it as slippers. Yes, because Eve doesn't look like anything um, Zanuti. Foreign. Foreign, they, nobody will buy it. So, so we also have that mentality that, that we need to... Yes. But I think clothes-wise, we are overcoming that. I'm just wondering why We've we don't overcome do... this. Clothes-wise, but when it comes it's to shoes, overcome. bags, and other things, we are not even encouraging each other. Yes, and Shoot. let me let me yes. say, yes. we but look up to. I have to, I have to say this. You know, even if I want to patronize my own, we have to be. We have to, our finishing has to be good. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take time to do your job properly. If I'm going to spend, even if it's five naira. Because I'm looking at what you're wearing, what you're wearing, what you're wearing. It can stand anywhere. In the world. Sure. I remember I did a topic and there was a lady who was wearing something with Lagos State um, print on it. It was beautiful. That can go international. And guess what? Clothes-wise, international celebrities are beginning to copy our styles. Yes. And that's because of how far we've come. So maybe we should de-emphasize the knockoffs. When I heard the story of what she was saying about the shoes, that you were in shock. It's alarming. <laughs> the alarm. Because alarming. the truth of the matter, we, even if we don't say it here, is that 99.9% of the designers we see on the road are, are fake. Yes. Yeah. Because how many people in our yes. population can yeah. actually can afford, afford to buy the number of designers yes. that they carry? Replica. No they are all replicas, knockoffs. And so it might, be, it might do us good to start to actually produce original Nigerian yeah, yeah, design exactly. as opposed to knock off foreign design, designs. I think. So yeah, let me take a last slide. We should encourage ourselves. They are doing very well. They are fully creative. They are making their things. I believe we should encourage people like this so that the, the country will be known. Nice. Yeah. Um, respond to Toski. Um, you were saying something about um, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg not wearing fancy clothes or Steve Jobs. To me, I feel you should dress your profession, actually. Mark Zuckerberg is a computer guy. He's a, um, it's what you call he's a, a nerd. Computer, yeah, he's a nerd. You can't find the nerd programming and wearing suits. For instance, I, I study computer science. I program. I can't be wearing suits to program. It's, 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 I'll be no, very but then you can wear a t-shirt that is... I can wear a t-shirt. And then she was saying something about um, knockoffs and all that. Me, for instance, if I, 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 I follow fashion trends a lot, like... I follow um, maybe Blake Scott or something. I don't necessarily have to buy their suits. I see the design, I'm like, oh man, I love this design. I come, I, I go to my tailor, I'm like, can you do this for me? Do you get? So I don't, okay, he's wearing um, Gucci or something. I, I wouldn't go and take my wife to buy Gucci. Nah, I'm not going to do that. So I just, I, I take a picture, I show a picture to my, um, what's it your, called? Your to my own, tailor. Um, yes, and I'm like, tailor. can you do this for me? And if he says yes, yes. I make it and wear it, and someone asks me what I'm wearing. I'm saying I'm wearing 615 because I like that is my fashion brand. So okay. I'll say I'm wearing myself. <laughs> okay, so um, I believe there's a misconception about being a celebrity and a role model. If you see, if I see Miss Nagata as my role model, for example, I'm not looking at her hair. I'm not looking at the bag she's carrying. I'm, I want to emulate her hard work. I want to look at what she has done over the years. I want to look at how she progressed from nothing to something. I'm not necessarily looking at the fact that she has makeup, because trust me, a lot of people, you see the likes of Token Market on Snapchat, they wear makeup, they pay them for the makeup they are wearing. You see their hair is well tongued, it's beautiful, they are going to pay them for that event they are going to. So if you say, oh, I love, I love um, Kim Kardashian, I love Nicki Minaj, I love those people, maybe you should admire or emulate their hard work, look at what they've done right, what they've done wrong, you know, be careful. But not, I like their bag. That's not being a role model. You are just misleading yourself. So I think we need to be conscious when it comes to discipline. You need to, be, you need to watch and be conscious of what exactly you're emulating out of your role model. Um, I want to state some facts clear here. Yeah. We all want to be rich. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, if you've worked hard, you're actually going to um, reap what you worked for. Hmm. What if you have the money to buy anything, you will buy it. That's the truth. The people that have the money to buy one million bag, they will buy it. If you cannot afford that level, know your level and stay on your lane. Don't do <laughs> I think that's a good note to end this one. I'd like to say thank you to my panelists. Thank you for being so real, for being so honest. 
and to my um, audience as well. Thank you. I'm sure we've learned a lot. Um, I, 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 I'm borrowing your last line, which re it just it stayed there in my head, which is a fake life is expensive because once you start, where do you stop and where do you draw the line? I think that is what gives the rise to every other vice that we see. The people who do runs, the people going to robbery, and every other vice. So if you know your lane and you maintain your lane and not look at everybody, someone else and think because they're doing this, I also want to do that, i.e. keeping up with the Joneses. Know that you are not Jones. Know your name and stick with your name. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Richards Beauty and Essentials for my makeup, Voltic Water for our water, KGM Industries Limited. If you have comments or suggestions, please send an email to us at insideoutwithagatha at yahoo.com or our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash insideoutwithagatha or follow us on Twitter at insideoutmedia. Yeah.